All right, so I just wanna give you guys a quick update on the global top grossing situation for the uh, Golden Week dual token fest banners so that you guys know whether or not to expect any top grossing stones later this weekend. So with that said, let's jump right into it. As always, we're on the Setzer Tower website. We're filtered by the Apple App Store. The date is April 28th, 2023, which was yesterday. The day the banners dropped or i guess technically they dropped on the 27th at night but the 28th would have been when most of the uh, summoning and purchasing activity would have happened right and then uh, all categories and uh, once again it's the ios store right so uh starting with france which is typically one of the best performers for top grossing uh, they were ultimately able to reach number two in the top grossing charts, but uh, they weren't able to beat out Deezer. So uh, yeah, no top grossing there. And then after that, we have the US, typically a very good performer as well, usually you know, among the best uh, top grossing regions for Global Dokkan. And they were all the way down at number eight, which is kind of crazy to me. I mean... It's not surprising, I guess, that they didn't reach number one, but the fact that they weren't even in the top five for a dual Dokkan Fest is definitely uh, unexpected, honestly. So that was the US. And then after that, we have Hong Kong at number three. We got uh, Macau at number three. We have Luxembourg at number four. Italy uh, reached number six. Um, Belgium was at number six as well. And uh, now we're back to France because um, there were a bunch of other, other regions I could have showed you, but they all didn't do so well. So the point is, long story short, it doesn't look like we're getting any top grossing stones. Um, I checked for today, the 29th, and it's even worse, right, as expected. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's not happening. It's not happening. If we do get top grossing stones, um, that would be a massive surprise because based on my research, based on what you guys just saw, I mean, we didn't get any top grossing regions and, uh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird because I was expecting a lot more people to be buying stones and to be summoning for these units because of how, what well, good they are. They are very powerful units, but on top of that, I just thought that, you know, the fact that it's a Dragon Ball Dual Dokkan Fest, it's something that we haven't seen uh, in a very long time, I mean, technically, we've never had a Dragon Ball Dual Toka Fest, right? So, uh, I thought it would get more hype. I thought it would get more people to open up their wallets, to do some summons, to buy some stones, but I guess I was wrong. And um, people just really want the, the Gokus and the Vegetas. I mean, there is a Goku, but you know what I mean? Like, UI Gokus and uh, God Gokus and so on and so forth, right? So... Um, yeah, I guess I can't be too surprised, but I still am kind of surprised. I thought we would perform better. I thought there would be top grossing stones, but on the bright side, on the bright side, um, we should still get like 30-ish stones for a, uh, end of celebration, like thank you, uh, reward. So that's something we can look forward to. That usually happens, uh, you know, once again, at the end of the celebration, right? So, uh... Yeah, we're gonna get more free stones for sure, just not top grossing stones for, for these banners. So uh, there's your update, guys. Um, I'm sorry I don't have better news, but uh, I can't make stuff up, right? So this is just how it is. Uh, I think, honestly, okay, quick, quick uh, theory here. I think the fact that the banner dropped on uh, very late on the 27th, right? At like 10 p.m. Eastern on the 27th was not great for our chances to get top grossing because that meant that Dokkan for the 27th only had a few hours to reach top grossing, which is very hard to do. And then for the 28th, I mean, there were a lot of people buying stones on that day, but the purchases uh, purchases would have been split would have been split between the people you know summoning immediately and buying stones on the night of the 27th, and then the remainder of the people buying stones on the 28th. So essentially. Um, I think the fact that, you know, there were like these two groups of people spending their money made it hard for us to get top grossing on either day, right? So, uh, 
yeah, yo, Bandai, just release these banners very early so that we have more time for a single day to get top grossing, and we should see more top grossing for those banners, you know? But anyways, uh, that's just the theory. I could be wrong. Um, doesn't matter, though. The point is, we're not getting top grossing stones, so uh, that's, that's a shame. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.